Want to compete? We each have 10 tennis balls. Let's see who stacks higher. 10 balls? See who stacks higher? That's right. Sister will be the judge. Ready, start! To stack 10 tennis balls, there's clearly 6 at the bottom, 3 in the middle, and 1 on top. Judge! 3 layers total. Done! Cool. Mine's 3 layers too, so? Well, according to the latest rules, same layers, whoever's faster wins, so I win. Hey, something isn't right. What's that on your ball? No whispering, violators lose. Not even pretending now? To win, I must stack to the fourth layer, but three layers used up all the balls. How to go higher? This? No. This? This? Nope, that works. Stay stable, the lower level needs more balls than the upper. Oh, time's almost out. Bottom must be more than top. <gasps> this works too. That means I can remove these three balls. This. These three balls can add another layer, following the above structure, reaching four total. What are you thinking? If this works, then I studied physics for nothing. <laughs> this stacking looks impossible, but the surface of the ball is rough. So if adjusted properly, the friction between balls is enough to keep them balanced. So next, let's flip the whole situation. 